Friday's frugal guy here. Oh look, I look like I look like a ta-da! You know that day. Look at the sunbeams coming at me. Like something like that. Both hands on the wheel, both hands on the wheel. As you can see, I'm in the car and I am driving. I am headed to the next town over to do some grocery shopping. I've been grocery shopping more frequently because I'm getting to the age, I guess. I don't know. I'm not getting to the age. My health's getting to the point where um, I can't carry in a bunch of bags, you know. First the shoulders, first the hands, first the body. So, anyway, I'm going to go over here. I think I'll go to Aldi. I don't know if I'll go to Aldi. I like Aldi because it's cheap. It's the most affordable place to go. But it's the same food over and over. And it's, you know, there's not much variety there. It's a good place to get your vegetables. I might, I'm going to go also to this uh, discount grocery store. If you don't know what a discount grocery store is, you've never been po. Because if you don't know what a discount grocery store is, then you've never had to watch your pennies on food. It's also called the Dent and Crash Store. Uh, I don't buy the Dent and Cubes. I get a little worried there might be a, well, they always, always, mom always made us worry that if it was a dented can, that it would rust on the inside and you would get, um, that was it, botulism. But anyway, the discount the, the discounted grocery store is it's like the stuff that might be a little outdated or it might be dented or they just had too much of it. I watch the dates, the expiration dates and um, different things. But there are some things you can get there that you can't buy in the regular store because they ship them in from other parts of the country that we don't have that type of food here. So anyway, we're on that brand. I'm going to go there. I don't know. I'm going to go to Kroger. Usually Kroger's too expensive, but maybe it'll be a little different. You know, we don't have that much to choose from when you live in small towns. And I'm sorry you're shaking, but you're up on, you're in the clip up on the, the up on the, um, what you? But anyway, we don't have that many grocery stores. We have, okay, even though I'm going to the next town over, which is a college town, that only has the old, not even 20,000 people in it, though. We've got Kroger. We've got uh, a local grocery store over there, which that might be good to go to, but they're expensive, too. And then you have Walmart, then you have Aldi. That's it for grocery stores. They have four grocery stores. That, and then they get the surplus store. I think that's not much. So all you people who are living around like Trader Joe's and your fancy Dempsey stores, yeah, I think you're lucky stars you got those. So, anyway, I'm going over here. But you know where I gotta go first. I gotta go to the thrift store. Duh. I mean, I wouldn't be making a video if I was uh, right now going to you're not going to see me grocery shopping. Uh, I wouldn't have time in Aldi. Our Aldi is always packed and the whole car closes to us. And, and, man, you, if you go to that first aisle and you haven't got what you want and you come back with your cart the wrong way in Aldi, don't try going back the wrong way in Aldi with your cart. It's like you committed a cardinal sin because then people give you looks like, oh no, she didn't. I'm serious. They're like, I'm going to get her. And when you're in Aldi, too, they bump you with your cart, their cart, to make it in. They're like, give me a second just to grab it off the shelf, please. They need to make a bigger store. But anyway. And I don't like Aldi because, like, they take up two aisles now with nothing but stuff that isn't food. Oh, well, anyway. But we're blessed in this country to have so much variety. So, shouldn't complain. But anyway, back to the, I'm going to what I think they call it the community. I call it community A, but I'll show you the outside of it when I get there. So, and I'll film in there because I filmed in there before and it's been fine. Um, they have all their jewelry separated and on a real, on a spin rack, spin rack. So, I've got some decent stuff there. I've got some nine, found some 925 there. So, um, next thing you're going to see is I'm going to turn you around while I'm driving and show you. We don't have really pretty colors here. We've got a lot of the same oak trees. So, though these oak trees kind of go a rusty color. But, it'll get you some fall scenery anyway. And then we'll be at the thrift store. Alright? Okay. Yeah, what are you going to do? You're watching the video.
guys, I promised that I would go thrifting at what I always call community aid, but it's not community aid, it's like community partnership. But I forgot, today is Monday and they're not open on Monday, so. I went to the Crash and Dent store, didn't get much. Those kind of stores, you just have to be very leery. Check your dates on stuff. Some of that stuff had expired in 2018. So anyway, um, so I decided, because I promised you a video, that I came over here to the antique mall. Now I'm going to turn the camera around, I'm going to show you how big this place is. I'm only giving myself an hour to be in here, so I probably won't see it all because it's it's a two-story building uh, with individual booths. So I'm going to film in here for you guys. I don't think I've ever filmed in here before. Now they play really loud music, so I don't want to get a copyright strike, so you'll probably I'll overlay music over it. So my hand signal is like, if I go like this, that means like I bought it. But um, I mean there's so many booths in here, there's no way I'm going to see all of them. But I'll film a little bit. I don't think they should, they would care. If they do, they'll tell me to stop. What's the big deal? Okay, so I'm going to turn the camera around and show you just how big this place is. You don't even get a full scale of it because you can't see the side of it. But anyway, I'll show it to you. Okay, here we are. Here's the building. It goes all the way from there down to there. And it's really wide. So, anyway, we're right by, we're right by the interstate, so you're going to hear a lot of cars. But I'm going to go in here and try to film some. And uh, like I said, you'll probably hear music over it because they play loud oldies station here. A lot of times we have to tell them to turn it down. It's so loud it makes you nervous. All right. So see you in there. Bye.
guys. Okay, I got you some footage in there. I might have filmed in there before. I don't know. But anyway, um, I only spent five dollars and ninety nine cents. And yeah, I think that's what I spent five dollars and ninety nine cents. Yeah, five ninety nine. And I got some interesting things. I want to show them to you. So I'll do a haul video now. Okay, this is the most interesting thing I, I think I've ever found. And this was 50% off. And they had it marked cheap anyway. This is original. And it's still in its original box. It's a vintage ice bag. Now, if you look at that, it says... Gen the Genuine Wireless Ice Bag. Okay? Okay, where does our mind go when we hear wireless in today's society? You think wireless. It has nothing to plug it in, right? Of course, that's where my mind went. I'm like, wait a minute, what? But then, no, what it means is it's an ice bag. I guess old ice bags had wires in it where they couldn't crinkle down. And this one crinkles down. So, I kind of looked it up just a little bit. They were made in the 20s and 30s. Ah! So, why somebody, you know, kept this and then it's got the original box? I'm glad they did. Uh, this will go on eBay. Um, I didn't know old ice bags, but why would I? had wires in them I guess and they were stiff but um I know the patent they said the patent on it was 1927 I think so they had only 4.95 on this and I got it for 50 percent off yeah so okay and then I bought there was a basket of jewelry and you'll see on the video where I show you a sign that says 50 percent off and then I show you earrings well this is the explanation behind them I dug in a basket of, of quote unquote vintage jewelry and these are the clip on earrings that I got out of there. It was the last thing in the basket. You can see those. Okay. They're silver tile and they're really nice clip on earrings. Um, they were only a dollar but they were 50% off so they were on 50 cents. They're crown trifari. Huh. Booyah. Yeah. And then um, I got those two things. Oh I got this really pretty brooch. You guys are going to have to remind me what this is because I've had one of these before. This type of jewelry, if you can see it. But I don't. This is plastic. I don't think it's glass. I don't know. I haven't looked at it real close because it was so. It was so cheap that I just thought, uh, I'll buy it. It's actually I spent more on one brooch than I did. I think. But it's a certain style, and you guys see it. You know what I mean? But it's plastic. It's not glass. See the inside of the 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 that looks like it's like. The glass or the plastic has got like sunbeams going this way. I thought when I looked at it, it might be um, string inside of it. I've, I've seen jewelry like that, but it's not. Maybe I shouldn't have spent two bucks on it, but I think it's cute. And I'll probably just get my money back on it. I might get a little more for it. I might try to get five out of it. Okay, so sorry, I'm taking up time. You have to watch me look down, but I don't want to be up for this. Okay, so I got all those items. That, that item. All those. Yeah, that, that, and that. Where did I put my earrings? Did I put them back in the bag? Yeah, okay. And then I just got me a book. Because I, I like, I'm always on the lookout for books about collectibles. And this is about, um, whole pottery. I think I have a book about whole pottery. But this one is a different type. Oh, it's got the price guide in it, too. I like when they have that. Um, it's older. It's, I'd say it's 70s, probably. Yeah, it's 77. I can just tell by the people on the back that has got, you know, they got that 70s look. Um, guys have the long hair, flowery shirts, and the woman's got the scarf around her neck, yeah. But it was only, um, actually, I didn't know this was on sale. I was going to buy it because it had, like, two bucks on it, I think. I had $1.50 on it. I had $1.50 on it, but I only paid 90 cents for it. Can't be that. So it's always good to have these books if you're like me and you resell more than just jewelry. That way, not so much, I know the price guide's not going to be of any use to me because it's so old. But what I use them for is to get the different styles of the pottery or the jewelry or whatever type of book I buy. That way I um, have the name that I don't have to sit there and go on Google and say, okay, it looks like this and try to search out, you know, what the name of that piece is. If I've got a book, I, I, when I'm listing my stuff, I can go, okay, it's the da 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 of the da da da, -da collection, you know? So, um, now it's off to go grocery shopping. I think I might stop over at Kroger. I don't know. I'd be interested to shop somewhere new. All oh, these are so cheap. 
always is always so frustrating. But it's so cheap. Uh, okay, and I don't have no coupons. Usually I don't go to a regular grocery store unless I have coupons. I gotta mail some stuff for my mom. Like you guys don't need to know this, but I'm just talking to you. Oh, I gotta get something to eat. I haven't eaten all day. Not good. I'm a bad diabetic. I am. I don't eat right. And I don't I should eat every like two hours and I don't. Oh well. You don't even know that anyway. Anyway, I'll probably cut that part out. But anyway, um, I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, remember go hit that subscription button. If you haven't subscribed for me, please, I'm getting real close to a thousand subscribers. And if you haven't hit that, that bell for notifications, please do, because I think that's why a lot of people are getting notified when I go live. That or it's because I'm using Streamlabs. I can't figure it out. But thank you guys for watching and coming along with me. And I didn't even go upstairs. I didn't have time. I spent an hour, about an hour in there. Yeah, it's been an hour. And um, I didn't even get to go upstairs. That's how big that place is. Um, so I'll talk to you guys later. And see, I put my seatbelt on. I'm a good girl. I don't know why people have a problem with putting seatbelts on. Alright, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.